And we are back with the fifth segment of the GSMC Basketball Podcast, presented by the GSMC Sports Network. And in this fifth segment, I have some bad news. And there is a possibility that the TNT cast between Shaq, Ernie, Kenny the Jet Smith, and Chuck is going to dissolve. So... There's, um, right now, there's a current NBA media rights deal coming to an end, like, with TNT, like, um, the basketball, it's going to take a huge shift in, um, in broadcasting, so, it seems that TNT has already lost the race to broadcast the NBA, according to the ringers Bill Simmons, NBC is going to take over from TNT once the new media rights deals have been signed, and due to the new media right, with TNT losing the um, the media rights to cover these games, the crew on inside the NBA on TNT between all four of them is going to be out of the TV screens starting in the next series, and starting in the next season. Excuse me, in 2025 and 2026, and TNT has been the host of the NBA Finals for multiple years and a staple for NBA broadcasting, and now it's coming to an end. <sighs> it's... <coughs> Excuse me. But it's it's really sad seeing that there is a possibility that the, that the team is going to be breaking up, simply because, like, I mean, Charles, Oak, Charles Barkley says that he can leave TNT if it loses its NBA rights, and so wouldn't be surprised if, you know, Shaq, Kenny, and Chuck decide to leave and go to CBS and cover the games there, but I believe Ernie is most likely going to stay with TNT and do whatever it is that TNT needs him to do. It's just really sad, because, like, this crew has been around, like, it feels like they've been around since they've retired. And it's really, like, it's really sad seeing how this crew is going to be, like, dissolved and, like, th just thrown away like that. Like, CBS isn't going to keep the show running inside the NBA on CBS this time. Like, I mean, I really wish that CBS would have continued the halftime show with all of those, um, with all of those people on the cast. But it, we're not entirely sure exactly what their decisions are going to be. And it does seem like this group is going to break up and go their separate ways or go whichever way they decide to go. Hopefully they decide to just join CBS and their broadcasting team and bring back inside the NBA all, just this time on CBS. But it doesn't seem, it doesn't seem very likely. And... Inside the NBA, it's like the pregame show, like on TNT, and the halftime show that they have on TNT, and as well as the um, postgame show that they have on TNT. They they have very good talks with each other. They all love to banter around. They love to like have fun. They love to. There's so many legendary moments that you can name. There's Shaq break dancing. There's Shaq being pushed into a Christmas tree. There's Shaq and Chuck fighting several times. There's um, the um, everyone touching Ernie's bald head or Chuck's bald head. Every, like, just so many funny moments. And, of course, how could I leave out Shaq saying, Hey, how many rings you got? I have four rings. I have three finals MVPs. I've been the best player on my team. And then Chuck just calling him fat. Chuck calling him Shrek. All this, all sorts of things that are just absolutely hilarious because like they're all friends at the end of the day and they just love to banter with each other and sometimes the NBA discussions turn into very heated debates between Shaq and Chuck simply because Shaq refuses to let Chuck speak on anything whenever they talk finals Shaq is just like yeah well unlike you we have experience winning in the finals and it's like Chuck is always the center of um being made fun of even when Kevin Hart 
was on the show. There was a point where Kevin Hart, like, when they were talking about him announcing his retirement from the All-Star game, he was like, I've already reached greatness. Like, it's over. Like, Shaq, you already know what it, you already know what it feels like. Kenny, you know what it feels like. And then he turns over to Chuck and he's like, I'm gonna stop right there before I get ahead because, you know, Chuck has never won a ring. And that's just the, that's just the joke around every single, everybody else on the TNT, um, sports cast because Kenny he has a championship ring I believe it was for the Houston Rockets and Shaq obviously he has four championship rings three with the Lakers and one with the Miami Heat and Chuck he's very very bitter about it he's like man I'd be able to have uh four rings if I was riding off of D Wade and Kobe's coattails and obviously you know there's some truth to that and there's also some untrue to that because Shaq does have three finals MVPs meaning he wasn't carried by Kobe and he wasn't riding his coattail. He was, in fact, producing just as much, if not better, than Kobe Bryant in a lot of these series. And a lot of Kobe fans aren't going to like me saying that, but tough, because Shaq's numbers, they're phenomenal. And in 2001 especially, he was outplayed. And, ooh, the boy J in the comments said facts. I mean, yeah, I mean, there's really nothing, there's really no argument for it. Shaq played better in 2000. By far, he played better in 2000. I mean, he was averaging like 38 and 12 or something like that, while Kobe was averaging like 15. But then, you know, in 2001, 2002, Kobe was picking up the slack, and they both played well together, and they both had enough production to to win in the end like it was a team effort from both of them in 2001 and 2002 but Shaq wasn't carried by Kobe Kobe was carried by Shaq only once like I am a Kobe fan but I am I'm just going to say that he was only carried once and that was in 2000 because there's just really no argument for saying that Kobe played better than Shaq in that series whatsoever like none but it's really sad seeing that the crew is just going to be breaking up after due to um, NBA rights, and it's just a really sad day. So I'm definitely going to be watching a lot more of the um, the broadcasting crew with the amount of time that they have left before their rights get um, shifted over to CBS, and again, just a really, really sad day. So with that, we are out of time for this fifth segment i don't want to talk about it anymore and there's really no nothing else to bring up about this like they are breaking up but it's really sad so thank you so much for tuning into the gsmc basketball podcast presented by the gsmc sports network your support means a lot to us so please remember to subscribe to the show and leave a positive review it really does make a difference we also invite you to follow us on facebook twitter tiktok and instagram for more content and updates and as usual, please remember to use the link in the description to get your comments recognized or the link displayed below the ticker on every single show segment. That is gsmcpodcast.net. Really helps the show, makes the show much more interactive between myself and you guys. Once again, the link is gsmcpodcast.net, and it's displayed below the ticker on every single show segment. That's the end for the show, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you so much for... Oh, wait a minute. Excuse me. Before I end the show, we have um, a comment coming in from Boomer. Talk about the Pacers. Now, I didn't really talk about the Pacers. I talked about them yesterday, which is why I'm not talking about them today. Simply be like, I mean, there's really... If you want to hear what I have to say about the Pacers, you can go ahead and watch my previous video about the, um, the Knicks and their series. But, I mean, since you do want me to talk about the Pacers, I might as well go ahead and take a few minutes and do that. So, I mean, they're down 3-2 in the series and now they're looking to hopefully they're looking to win in game six in indiana and push the game to a seven and push the series to seven games with a chance of winning in madison square garden but i mean they played very very poorly in game in game five and now they're expected to somewhat bounce back in game six they do have home crowd advantage but okay, Boomer is going to go ahead and watch the video. Yeah, because I did make um, I do have my own segments like talking about the Pacers and the Knicks and their series in the um in the previous um upload that I did. So just go ahead and check that out if you if you're really interested. But I mean, maybe in the next 
maybe in the next segment for um for Friday, like maybe tomorrow, I'll go ahead and talk and give my predictions on what's going to happen in the series. But I have the Knicks winning in Game Six. But then again, like there's a huge possibility that the Pacers could end up winning in game in game six due to the home court advantage and then pushing the series over to seven games but that's really like all the time that i have for um this show again watch the um the rest of the videos if you are interested in the pacers and what they have to say i'll keep that in mind for the next segment on friday and boomer has something else in the comments keep doing what you're do what you're doing bro appreciate it man so Thank you so much for tuning in, and again, be sure to watch the rest of the um, the uploads that I have on the show, on the basketball podcast. But thank you guys so much for tuning in. I am your host Nelson, and as always, take care. Let's go. I wake up to a little bit of drool on my pillow, feel like it's gonna be a bad day. Yeah, I'm tired of shit, and the coffee ain't hit yet. Yeah, damn, ain't that great? Nice. I don't wanna.